couple of again. One from my Masters of Malt Pour and Sip subscription. This is the first one I've tried. This is from the April 2023 box. The first box I received. And this one is, you get a 30ml bottle. 3 centimetres. And this one is from Wales. A Welsh whisky. I've never had a Welsh whisky. Called Penderin. Penderin Rich Oak. 46% ABV. It's from Penderin, Penderin Distillery. Uh, we'll read that later. I'll put that in that, uh, into the video. But. I've got my wee Glen Cairn glass, I've got my Glen Cairn whiskey, water jug and pipette. I don't know if I, I might add water to it, I don't know. I probably will. And I've got a beer that I've just reviewed, I'm going to taste it alongside that, called Bra from Cross Borders Brewery in Dalkeith in Scotland. It's got a wax cap. Get that off. Okay, that was fairly simple. Let's... Oh, it smells lovely. <laughs> lovely light and fruity. I'll pour it into my, my Glen Cairn. It's quite a short measure. Get every last drop. Now, Disclaimer, I am a complete novice when it comes to whiskey. And this is my new project to try and learn about whiskey, the different whiskies. Scotch whiskey mainly, I would maybe. But Welsh, you name it, bourbons from America, you name it, I'll drink it. So because I've not, I've never reviewed a whiskey before. Let's have a wee look at the, the colour. Get a wee swirl to see if it's got legs. I have been reading up on it. It has got some. It clings to the glass and comes down slowly. So there is, uh, as they call it, legs. I've been watching videos. The colour is very, very pale gold. It's crystal clear. It looks absolutely beautiful. It's fairly light. Uh, get a wee swirl. That's fruity, that. You get, you, it's, it's boozy. It's not, there's no much, there's not too much of a burn, but. I'm trying to identify what fruit I was going to, I'm going to say cherry, but I don't know if that's. Oh, that is quite strong, the booze. There's something else there. See, I don't know what to look for in whiskies. I tell you what, I'll read what they, the, the notes you get with that'll help me. So on the nose, spiced dark chocolate. You know, I was going to say like cinnamon or something. Spiced dark chocolate, dried mango and green apple. Apple. Some polished oak underneath. It is very floral. I don't know what oak. Not like well woody. Yeah, if you get that. Yeah, there is a bit. Walking into a, a lumber yard <laughs> vibe. The palette. Creamy vanilla and tangy tropical fruit with cinnamon. Spicy oak and a touch of dark treacle. Here we go. Slantia. You know, there's so much going on there. The creamy vanilla, you do get that. The slight, uh, the, the fruitiness develops. You do get that straight away. 
you get the alcohols, but that's the first thing. And then you get the slight vanilla. And then you get the slight fruitiness coming through. Saying with cinnamon, spicy oak, touch of dark treacle. Of course, my palate's uneducated, so. The cinnamon, there is that spiciness. There is a bit of spiciness there. The finish, fried banana. I don't know if I've ever had fried banana. Vanilla blossom. I've never, I've never tasted vanilla blossom. Have you? Fudge and baking spices. I'm not getting anything. I'm getting the vanilla, and there's a slight sweetness. But it's more a fruity sweetness rather than fudge. I'm going to see how this beer compares. I have done a review of this. I'll put that in, in either there or in the description. The fruit is very pronounced in this. The peach and the drop the passion fruit. Maybe even more so now that I've drunk that. Let's add a drip of water with my pipette. Where's the hole? There it is. A couple of drips. I think you're supposed to let it sit in the glass a while as well. Of course, when you're doing a review, you can't eat, well, of course you can edit it. That, that sort of made it a bit more vanilla. Uh, the, 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 uh, you can smell the woodiness. The oak. Cheers, my dears. That's amazing how it, a couple of drips of water transforms the whiskey. It makes it a lot mellower. Any burn that is present has been taken away. It's slightly fruitier. The vanilla is probably more pronounced. And just a couple of drips of water. That's amazing. So I was thinking 30 mil is very small, it is a small measure that. But I'm going to get like three sips of it probably, or maybe, maybe four. So it is adequate. Pardon me. Would I buy this a full ball? I probably would. It's nice and mellow and fruity. Another wee sip. On the back side, it's distilled in the Brecon Beacons National Park. I think that's changed its name recently. To a Welsh name, I'll see if I can find that. Wales Distillery Pendaren. Apologies if I'm mispronouncing that, by the way. So it's got whiskey flavour, whiskey's flavour, it's 35, 6 stars. So sweet is 3 to 6. Fruity, 4. Rich is 3. Botanical, floral, which is 1. Delicate, 3. Spicy, 1. Wood or rancio, I'll have to look up that word, never heard it. It's three, peat smoke, zero. Yeah, it's no like, uh, what have we got in there? It's an Ardmore, I think. An Isla whiskey. I'm trying to remember what one, I think it's Ardmore. 
it is divine. So, yeah, I'll go with that. I mean, as this is my first review, I don't know. I don't really know what I'm doing. Well, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing with the beer reviews either. But I'm learning. That's the whole point of the exercise. Oh, that really brings the fruit out of that. They complement each other so well. Brings out the different flavours. I think that's, that's still got the legs, as you can see. I don't know if the camera will pick that up. That's amazing, isn't it? That fruitiness. I don't know if it's still lingering from the beer. But it's definitely complementing it. Oh yeah. So, for a first whiskey from my pour and sip, I am very pleased with that. I wonder how deep I can get my tongue in this bottle. Oh, I won't do that on camera, that's, that's obscene. Or it could, potentially obscene. Anyway. You get five in a box. Five a month. I've got May's one. Uh, I'm expecting June's any day now. This is... 29th of May, 2023. So the June is due for delivery. I also went into their back catalogue to try and get previous months. March was sold out, but I've got January and February's boxes. So I'll do them, I don't know what order I'm going to do them then. And I'll try and see what goes with what. This is it's just guesswork. But I thought this was, because this says it was fruity, and this is quite a fruity beer, I thought I'll see how they, they complement each other. So, sorry for going on so long. I think this is, might be quite niche, this whiskey and beer reviews. A half pint and a nip. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time, hopefully. Ta-ta for now. Cheers, my dears. There's a fan comes on. Both are improved, drunk alongside each other.